있죠. ອ່າຈຸມລະບຽບປະກາດບັນຕໍກັບຕຳລາການນິຕິສັມມະກາໃຫ້ຕໍ່ດີການຊຸນເຕີຈະກ່ອມເຟີນໃນບັນຕໍ
ឬក៏អំពីការសម្រាប់ថានអំពីការបង្ខំនៅក្នុងរបបឬក៏ If I can clarify, I can turn actually to a footnote. I look to a footnote. I can turn actually to a footnote. I can turn ແລະគឺជាឧទាហរណ៍មួយក្នុងផ្លូវក្នុងខេត្តកំពុជាបន្តែខ្ញុំអត់មានតែនៅនៃច្បាស់ពីគាត់ទេខ្ញុំអាច
I found that function had a Nhưng higher role than structure when it came to the weddings, the purpose of the weddings, and that because function was more important than structure initially, a structure for a policy seemed to be developing in 1978. And what was the structure of this policy? Would you describe it? Yes, it was The structure was around more consistency in how weddings happened. By the end of 78. How happened this is a very, far, a very wide term. What aspect of the wedding are you referring to? A policy for the elements that were expected to be part of the wedding ceremony and wedding proceedings and how people were called out. Okay, I'll now go into the foundation for these findings you have just made. And um, in this context, I have first a couple of questions when it comes to the methodology. The first one is for clarification. Did I understand correctly that your sample consisted exclusively mm. of couples that were Pan still Kumru together, who had married in the Khmer Rouge period and were still together. together. That right, that criterion was only specified for the first eleven couples. Twenty-two people. That was my first sample. So the other people were. You also interviewed people who were no longer together with their partner. It wasn't specified, but most people were. Could, could, could you give me, I think you, all together you um, questioned, I think, 96 or so couples. The reason I'm using the word couples is because you used it all the time. So that's why I came up with this. This was all about couples. And I think you also said at the time you preferred couples because then you had the male and female perspective. Now I understand that we are not only talking about couples, again, couples who are still together with the partner they married in the Khmer Rouge period, but that you also questioned people who were no no longer together with this partner. Can, can you give me an idea how many of the 190, I'm not quite sure now, four or so, people were no longer together with the uh, with their original partner at the time when you interviewed. Again, one... Sorry, I want to make one qualifying statement about my sampling. Those first 11 couples were interviewed for an extensive period of time, over a three-year period, looking for a gender consensus and also trying to formulate what the questions were going to be for the next large or random sample where it was not specified whether someone was together or not, just that they had been married. In the decay period, that was the only specification for the larger sample. But the answer to your question about how many are together, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so the next question is for the next one. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so the next
So in order to be fair to my sample, because the first 22 were people who were together, I had to hold that separate from the other people in my sample. Um, so the total that were not together due to death of a spouse was 24 and the total who were not together separation or what people call permanent separation was 39 and just one more the number that remarried was 2 Thank you. No, the reason I was asking is obviously because while this was not the main objective of your study, but when it comes to forced marriage, if you have a majority of people who are still together, it's it's obviously slightly lopsided because you could argue that people who have had very good experience by being forced to in between. That was the reason behind the questions. Um, I, another question when it comes to the sampling, you yourself mentioned that over time the policies changed and the practices changed. Now, in your sample, did you have a representative um, number of marriages that were actually made at, at each year, meaning 20 from 75, 20 from 76, etc. Or, or is there um, somewhere else? Um, <laughs> Behind your question is what led me to believe in part that function preceded structure under decay. Um, so, in terms of the total number of weddings, I had 0.02% in 1975, 0.06% in ຄືຈັດ <coughs> 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 So I was looking at my data. People in remote regions were still being married in arranged marriages after the collapse of the regime and at the end of the regime in my sample. Uh, yeah, I, I understand. It's just we, we have a temporal jurisdiction which ends with, with uh, the beginning of 79. So I just wanted to ensure that we don't get too many data from people who actually married outside. This so then three people in the outer line regions in my study um, in the north in particular uh, were married right on that cusp. Um, the next question is related to your questionnaire. Um, as I've mentioned before, the, the one question which is obviously uh, directly or at least partly related to our subject is where you told to have sexual relations. Um, and and uh, 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 I believe you have provided the answers to that. Can you remind us on the answers? Yes, I can if you give me one second, mm -hmm. please.
sorry, I think I took my sticker out of that section. I believe it's page 88 of the book. Starting at the bo bottom paragraph, page 88. Thank you for that. I had a chart that I was trying to find in my thesis. Um, if you just give me a minute, I'd rather prefer to my chart because my data is a bit uh, more uh, uh, okay. 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 Apologies. Yeah. Okay. Seventy-six out of one ninety-two reported that sex was prescribed. Thirty-nine percent. Nineteen had stated. Point percent that they consummated their marriage. Were there any follow-up questions asked to those people who had answered the affirmative to these questions? Meaning, uh, was, uh, said, were sexual relations, were you told to have sexual relations, or was that the end of it? Uh, Some of them were told to have sexual relations, or was that the end of it? Some of them were told to have sexual relations, or was that the end These were in-depth interviews um, and when someone would make that statement of course I was interested in how they interpreted that what they thought about that and most people most, most people thought that this is what was normal at that time in some ways and other people thought that it was expected when you got married that you would then eventually have children. And at the same time, most people said they had no energy. They felt ugly and untouchable. That they couldn't imagine being in a sexual relationship with someone under those circumstances of feeling emaciated and not having any libido at all. So the issue of starvation is huge here. There's a huge topic in my sample. There's a huge topic in my sample. Just to clarify one thing, the answer before, what I heard, what I thought I heard was that there were women who were 19 respondents who confirmed consummating the wedding, which they said was 0 0.9%. 19 out of 192, of course, would be just below 10 percent. Is that what she meant, or did I misunderstand? Can you perhaps clarify? Yes, that's what I meant, just under 10 percent. Uh, in your answer to me, actually, you said, well, some people thought it was normal at the time. What was normal? What was considered normal? To follow orders. Okay, let me see what else I have. Um, yeah, I have one question on my list. Uh, I understand you, or I might not have understood you correctly. Did you follow pro these proceedings? Some experts have done it on the uh, uh, stream, stream live stream. These proceedings at the court, I mean. Yes, I have followed not all the proceedings. Some I actually was here in the um, room behind me. Um, two times when David Chandler gave um, testimony and when Dr. Satira um, gave his expert witness. Uh, did anything you heard uh, in the court, which was obviously new and after your study, change your um, overall perception of what has happened or challenged it? If so, in what way?
In many ways, what I have heard has confirmed the dire circumstances under which people lived during that time. And as you may know from reading my work, I coined the concept ritual side because I was able to, um, while I was doing my study, map the breakdown of traditional rituals over time and the impact that had on an entire population. And so in listening with that hat, of course, I've had more confirming evidence of that violation to people's safety. To expand on the last part. The violation of people's safety part. One, one thinks through the implications of the meaning of Ankar that I found in my study, and then one lives in a place where fear is part of one's everyday existence, and one has no access to protective rituals that protect themselves, that protect their deceased ancestors that will be roaming, <laughs> uh, that have the potential in that roaming to create more harm um, psychologically. I don't use the word spiritual because I think it's a Western term. Psychologically and from a spirit-based perspective, the ruthless tracking that I did of the breakdown of rituals was a violation of not just people living, but people no longer living. And uh, perhaps my very last question is a rather technical one again. It goes back to your um, questionnaire. The question was, did you think Anka was, did that ever come up in connection with marriage, with the marriage issue? And if so, how? Uh, you have to a degree talked about it, but perhaps you can summarize that a bit. Yes, people attributed transforming powers to Ankar, um, and in that regard, Ankar was very unpredictable. And so when someone was told that Ankar was asking them to be married, it was essential that they comply. Why? When I gave that sketch of the woman that, um, and husband that were returning to their wedding place on that night and they didn't speak for fear that Ankar might even hear their thoughts, I, I will bracket that because I was at the Shoah Foundation, I listened to many testimonials um, with regard to the Holocaust. I never heard anyone say in those testimonies that they were afraid to think. To be afraid to think, it, it, it was the only place that people in the Holocaust had freedom, it was in their mind. But if you add this possessing, transforming force that could hear what you're thinking, Better not speak. And better not act. If I summarize you correctly, please interrupt me immediately if I'm wrong. You're saying after we've watched the proceedings and probably on the basis of your findings, there was this all pervasive fear of anchor. Is this correct or do I misstate it? 
คลายออกกาเต็มดองยังไม่ได้ Yes however the quality of that fear I think is determined by whether one believed Ankar was an organization or whether Ankar was a possessing force um, Okay and the majority of the people whom you talk to saw Ankar how for those who had been indoctrinated into the Khmer Rouge as soldiers, they often saw Ankar as the organization. Um, firstly, there were gender differences in people's perceptions of Ankar. Men usually were much more utilitarian about their perception of Ankar. Uh, Can you expand on that a bit in easier language, perhaps? Yes. Um, men usually considered Ankar to be a person who was associated with the Khmer Rouge. Whereas women, and, and again, I think this factor is very, very important when you think about fear in women and how many women have come forward as civil party members. For women, oftentimes, especially when there was no access to protective rituals, their experience of Ankar being a transformational force was great. Now, as you probably know, there is part of the indictment is the allegation that the regime also went against the Buddhist religion and tried to get rid of this. So if I understand you correctly, this would mean in getting rid of the protective force which would still be here, it is, which would be considered beneficial by people. Is that correct or not? I think it's very important to make the distinction in Buddhism that we have syncretic Buddhism, which is more animist-based Buddhism. So, in a way, if I if I can separate out the animistic perceptions that accompany some of the Buddhist practices, the animistic practices would hold more. Hold more power, if you will, <laughs> or more valence is the word I was searching for. Um, the, the animist region holds a bit more valence in terms of instigating a particular kind of fear. Perhaps one additional question to the perception of anchor. You said no matter from which philosophical angle it was coming from, but it was considered, or am I incorrect, the ruling force, the force to be obeyed, or is this incorrect? No matter whether this comes from a, from a spiritual understanding or from a more, more political understanding, would you agree with this or did I get that wrong? There's a distinction between a political force and a transformational animist force. And I think when people interpreted the force as being organizational and um, connected to the leadership of the Khmer Rouge, there was a different response in compliance than when the force was an animist force. I don't want to go far into that, but perhaps two additional questions and interesting subjects. In your research, how many percent so came from the animist angle to simplify it very much? I know I'm simplifying. And how many came from the political understanding of that There was a progression of disclosure in my research. So initially, for some foreigner, though people, when they first heard about my topic, 
they gave me textbook responses Ankar, you know, the organization. But when I started traveling with them and I started, I started gathering not just content-based data, but I watched them in certain areas walking through past places and heard them reference on car in a qualitatively different way, then I began to explore that. And from that, I found a very high prevalence of an association with Ankar being an animist force. Regardless of education, regardless of base, or many people call themselves new base in my sample, base, new base, month, I know it's very difficult with numbers, but again, I'm a lawyer. Um, would you feel comfortable to put numbers on that? You said a high percentage. I would like to, on the lunch break, go back to my data and give you that response as concretely as I can. And you said there was a difference in compliance depending on how people viewed Ankar. Can you elaborate on that a bit? What was the difference? The more someone perceived Ankar to be a transforming, destructive force that could come at any time unpredictably, the more they were mute, the more they complied, the more they said yes. Thank you. I have no further question at the moment. Perhaps we should make the decision now and deliberate the decision on the remaining time. Bah, ông, chấm rẻ, chấm rạch tha, 
พอดอลปีเบลีบันเทมสรุปเทียงกรุ๊ปพิกีทางออกนกการสุดอินดอลเนี่ยจะมีรูปนี้คือมวยเวียในสัมนาการบันเทมทีปัจจุบันตอนตอนนี้สมรอบปิการจุนเตยกรมสะเปลี่ยนยะนำไปต่างสมรุนในดาวจะปูตอนนี้จำเดียชีวิตทำจำสมกรุบโลกทิ้นขยมกระทาขยมจังไอลุกใส่องตาเกษไอปลายปลายไปเวลียบทแทมนั่งไอจอบหายตั้งหรือก็ยังไม่ได้โลกทิ้นปลาปลาปีเปลี่ยนนะองค์ยามเรียบร้อยเอาให้ทำทำได้คือเมตตาวิกาเปิดกระไดอัดสู่คร้อยจีเรื่องสมรุมในขนมกันจำนาการในเตวิธีบุมเมียนปัญหาคลาคือนึงอาจจะสู่ไปเจาะจงคร้อยคนลูกเทียนจุดเรื่องสู่ลูกใส่ในจุดนี้ขยามบาดมุสเซนเลี้ยงจีสะเปิดในยารอจีให้ไทยนี่ขยามเมียนสนุ่มจุดนู้นจังสู่ตะการลูกใส่ให้ประตอมอกสะเสียบขยามคือลูกเปลี่ยนก่อนอังสูอันตรายอังสูปไทม์ยิ่งจังไอ้ลูกใส่ช่วยชาวอีสมโนไว้บ้านคล้ายคล้ายให้จำสมโนไปโพธาขยมันมีนเปรียบเลี้ยจานตีสมโนตัวบ่มบอกยิ่งจังไอ้ลูกใส่ช่วยไปเจาะท่าไปสามไม่ลูกใส่บ้านมีนภาษาไทยลูกใส่จีเป็ดจะตัดสหายก่อจีสหสระจ่าได้แต่ใครไปอีจีบนี่ตาลูกใส่ทรอปมีนทรอปทัวจีมีทวีไดร์เต้บางมันทรอปทัวร์จีเมทวีเต้ใต้ลูกไซทรอปตัวตัวบานกาบดอกมะนาวไหนฉบับนามุ้ยได้หรือเต้ขยมโจ้ขนมตลาดการแต่ขนมกันในนั้นแต่ขยมตัวทุ่ยจิตตนางเอาแต่ในจนนกมอปิคลินในจุดบอกขยมแต่บ้านนอกคนลูกไส้จังตาปีเดลปลายปลายในขนมสิบเพลในแคบบอดบอลลูกไส้เนาะตาลูกไส้บานปลายปลายในยมในบ้าบรูอย่างหนาให้ประสานบาจีลูกไส้มันดังลูกไส้คนปราบทามันดังกับบ้านเลยเขยมโดยที่อัดยุลิปุกขยมจังสูทาตาปิดแต่ปลาปลาในขนมสิบเพลนั่นคือลูกไซปลาในยมในฉบับหรืออย่างนั้นลูกไซก่อนในชาวอิทาปลาหรือก่อนปลาหรือก่อนมันดังกบานคือบนใต้ขยมจ้องไอ้ลูกใส่ช่วยไปเจาะติดท่าตาครูนลูกใส่ตัวนั่งตาลูกใส่เจาะในใจพิซซ่าขมายได้เต้ให้ใบเจาะตาเจาะกับรถนาได้ No, I do not speak Khmer polite, but I do not speak Khmer. That's why I use two translators: first translator and an independent translator in any work that I did. And sometimes French, because some of my respondents spoke French as a first language. Ako luk sray, lau bay mau ni jay ampi net day luk sray peng doji ni sat jam day chnam ti buon nang ta nuk nong jam nao ni sat 
ตียงอ่อนนั้นตาลูกใส่ปลาจำนวนประมาณเนี่ยหายปุ๊กเกอเมียนเพชรใส่ประมาณปลาประมาณได้บ้างไอ Believe I have that in the holding room. That data, um, it was approximately 50% male and female. But I will make a notation to get that accurately to you. Apun lu say kiam nung wal bok suo sunu ni tapi kau hek kiam cang alu say cuit mencak mui tiet ampi than ne ne bok pray bok lu say nung ta kui cie menu pro rum lu say dai lu say cuit mencak fong. They were both. Jang min day tha kanong ka pa pra manu chui luk say kanong ka sak sa am pi plau phet kanong ka riwa pi pi ni kui luk say ban ban kat pi panh ha gender te ru yang mai. On a regular basis. Ne chung ni anh kui to tam to tam pe bel le anu anh. អរគុណលោកស្រីកាពីមសលមិញប៉ែនម៉ោងមួយនឹងសាយសិបអំពលនាទីលោកស្រីបានមានប្រសាសន៍ថាលោកស្រីជួបអ្នកជំងឺលោ
n e i g h b o r and other p e r c h nearby. Often floating in and out of you during the course of interview. h uh, uh, a y uh, 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 ลูกสายบ้านมีนภาษาไทยเนี่ยได้ขยมสมเพียมีนอารมณ์ท่าโดยจีนขมัดได้จังสมนุกยมจังสู้ลูกสายท่าตาลูกสายโยสรอบเตะได้ท่าวัตมีนเนี่ยดอกตีจีวิเซปได้ประปุ่นหรือโกนจ้าวไอ้เฟื่อยเนี่ยได้ลูกสายเตะสมเพียตุ่มน้องจีมันเซย์จังในเย่ยมปีกาดีกาจีมวยมนุกได้ลองกาเชื่อรึไอ้ดีกาจีมวยหรือก็มันจังในเย่ยมปีการวมตุ่มเนี่ยจีมวยมนุกนุ่ดได้ให้ก็มันจ้องในยี่ทากลุ้นมันจ้องมีนโกนจีมวยมันนุ่ดนุ่ดได้แต่การเลือกล้างอยู่ใส่ยูอย่างนั้นได้เลือกที่จะพูดคุยเรื่องของคุณประโยคสองอย่างแรกในในการสอบถามเขาเขาเป็นและใช่ค่ะเมื่อผมสอบถามคนในบ้านเขาเขาเป็นคนต่างชาติและเขาเป็นคนต่างประเทศแต่ผมอยากจะเพิ่มความแตกต่างระหว่างแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้กับแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ที่เป็นแบบคอนเฟดเชียลิตี้ Are there listening? Um, so I, I just wanted to make that point. In terms of this gender issue of disclosure, that actually has been a theme a bit in some of the um, court proceedings I've watched. With regard to women and boys, what I discovered in my long-term study with couples was that oftentimes women would initially be quiet and men would speak first. Any time a man was not accurate in what he was reporting, his wife would step in to make a clarification, and then they would come to consensus on that. I was interested in was interested in that. It was important to me to watch that process and to watch how and when. Women, when they were interviewed, were more silent, and when they were more assertive. And I found, oftentimes, it was a matter of timing. But I did interview couples together. I interviewed them, looking at the role of consensus, how they came to consensus about things that happened, and I interviewed them separately as well. That's important. In the first sample, that's why it took me so many years to do that. ลูกศรีออกคนนั้นได้ลูกศรีบานชลาวอย่างหลังการบอกว่ายมันใต้สนุกยิ่งในจังไอลูกศรีช่วยบัญชีคือจังไอลูกศรีบัญชีท่าตาวอตเตอร์มีนตะบอนเนี่ยตัดเตยเชียร์เซ่ประเดี๋ยวประปนหนึ่งก้นได้เนื้อจมูกนี้นั่นแหละตาวีไอจีไอติปูดอลเนี่ยได้ชลาวเนี่ยได้เนื้อใจเตี้ยอุตีท่าเบอร์ประปนก้อนอันเนื้อใจท่าก้อนมันจังเรียบกายจมูกเอ่อประเดี๋ยวก้อนให้ก้อนมันจังมีนก้นจมูกประเดี๋ยวก้อนเนื้อจมูกมุกประเดี๋ยวประปนก้อนนั่นได้เตย Again, because I sequenced my interviews, I had many permutations of how I met with people as a couple, alone, as a couple, with other people who were naturally in the environment in their home that were roaming in and out, and as individuals. So that sequencing really assisted me in being able to evaluate the reliability of what was being told to me. ជាជាក់នៃចម្លោយដែលពួកគាត់ផ្ដល់ឲ្យខ្ញុំបាន
บ่าคุณบ่าได้เมียนพี่กีบานสมบัติยมเฉยยมสมบัติเฉยหลังวิ่งท้าอ่องยมเรียบมันแทมปีวิลีรวมสมัยพี่กีจังบุญน้องก้าสู้ดังดาวจะปวดเนี่ยเจมเดียรูปนี้คือมวยเวียนในทั้งไงสามนาคาให้พี่วิลีเฉยเลี้ยนนกอ่องยมเรียบนั่งเพื่อการกำหนดฉบับหล่อถ้าเพื่อกีนะเธอบานตัวประมาณแทนที่แกรณีอย่างตรมตรือหายอย่างหอยนะก็ยังมันเอาการสลับตะไคร่กำสะใส่เนี่ยเยี่ยมเรียนยุบนี้เลือกปีมวยปรกไงไอแดงดำไปสมรู้เราเคยจำนาคาเบลตลอดตัวลมเดินทางเราบอกคนวิ่งบ่ายเลยนี่เราเปลี่ยนสมระให้อเมียประกาศสมระจากปีปีนี้เธอเธอเราเอามวยกันละหนึ่งเดือนนี้สมเชิญจุลวิญญาณไปมาต่อการจำนาคาสามนาคาคนไทยอัตราตลาดการรวมรวมรอกลายสัมภาระในประตูตรงจำในแบบสะใสดอกดอกเนี่ยจุดเด่นรูปนี้ในขนมลงไปสัมภาระเนี่ยเจอก้อนบอกกันกลายเป็นดอกสะใคร่กั้มนมประตูสันสามนาการในวิ่งในเรียมองมวยกันละให้ประกอบอาการโดยอันตรีคงแข็งนมรวมลุกเชื่อสัมพันธ์ตลอดการประตูตรงจำขังกรอมสะสามนาการนมประกอบไปนมคนก้อนตลอดจุดรวมสามนาการในขนมประตูสามนาการในวิ่งในเรียนนี้อาบานมุดมองมวยกันละสัมภาระจ้ะสมชื่นกรอกเชอ